side. Two, two steps to the right. I'm going to pick up my shoulders and step two steps to the left. So those kind of movements help you get your timing back of not pulling. Does that make sense? See, now he's nice and soft in your hands again. He was getting heavy, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Now you got a nice soft mouth. Good for you. I saw it. Nice. So that, see that feeling? Yeah. I know it's harder to do when you're going faster, but that's an ever so slightly move that you can do. And if you don't want him to turn all the way to the dock, start turning right here. Yeah. You know? Pick up your body and look across the arena and say, I'm going to go there. Because you're looking and then you're already turning way down there. Does that make sense? It's like when you're driving, your eyes go and then your hands go. <laughs> you're looking off to the left and there you are in the ditch. <laughs> I remember that from driving dead. Because <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> Look where you're going or go where you're looking. Right? <laughs> to make sure he doesn't raise up beforehand and I have a purposeful walk then that I'm not just coming out of the blue with a cue. All right, come back to the walk. Rattle, rattle. Got it. Now sit up nice and tall and be soft with your hands. And think about softly guiding him with your outside leg. And you can bump that outside hand a couple times, but don't get to dead holding. So think it good for you. Feel that? Uh -huh. So do it down here again. Bump the outside. Yep, turn the outside of his body. Good for you. You can actually get happy with your left hand right here. Good for you. Again. There you go, not diamonding. Little kisses if he dogs you, and then soften your hand. And you can pick it right back up if you need to. Good job. Yep, keep at it until he moves over. Soften. Yep. Good timing. Little kiss if you need to. Great. And whenever you're ready, let's come back to the walk. Good job. That was very nice. Five circles. Way to go. You brought it back. 